Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create an FPS game in Unity and welcome to episode 14. In this tutorial we're going to add in some ambience to our game and we're also going to import our first enemy. Don't forget, click subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. And if you've enjoyed this series so far, please feel free to check me out on Patreon or YouTube memberships where you'll earn things like early access, exclusive content, project files and so much more. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the main focus of this tutorial is going to be to bring in uh, an enemy. And I mentioned in the last tutorial that the enemy we're going to bring in is the guy from the thumbnail of this series, the one sat on the box. So we're going to bring him in along with some animations. Now, there is a great website that you can use uh, called Mixamo, and you may have heard of it before. So if you head to Mixamo.com, create yourself a free account, you'll be able to get some models and some animations that you can use nice and easily. So Mixamo itself has plenty of different models that you can use, and you don't necessarily have to use the exact same one that I do. You can use any one of these if you want to. So if you do want to use the same one that I am using, you would just need to go to page two. And right at the top, at this present moment in time at least, is this SWAT guy. And if you click him and click use this character, he'll end up in the T-pose over here. And this is what he currently looks like. We don't want him in a T-pose though, we want him with some animations. Now, there's going to be tons of animations that we need to use. I'm only going to use three for now but you should try and forward think of the animations that you would want him to use. So we're obviously going to want him walking, we're obviously going to want him in an idle position, and we're going to want him at least firing a weapon. So we're going to need at least those three. You try and think of other things that you would want if you want him in a crouching position, uh, all kinds of other positions, but we're going to come around to adding more animations later on in this series anyway, because I'm not going to bring in a dying animation, but obviously we're going to need that at some point. So how do we make it so as we can bring in animations along with this model? Well, at the top here we have animations. And let's search for walking. We want a walking animation first off. You can choose from any of these. And if you click on them, you can see preview of how they look. I'm going to go with this one. And I am also going to tick in place. The reason I'm going to tick in place is because we're going to use a certain style of AI in our game. And it basically means that if I go back into Unity, all of this floor will be available for us to walk on at some point during the game, so we kind of need him to be in place, but all will become apparent later on in the series. So let's head back to Mixamo. So we have our model ready, now we need to download, but there are many different options that we can use here. The first one we're going to want to use is Collada, and make sure it is with skin, and then click on download, and it will take just a moment to prepare itself. Now, you may have noticed in that list there was an option that said FBX for Unity. Don't worry about that for now. We are going to use that. It's just we need to make sure we get the correct textures for this model before we can even think about bringing him into Unity itself. Some models may take a little bit longer than others. I think it just depends on their size. This model might be quite large. Uh, that's why I'm saying you might want to use a, uh, a different model. Anyway, once that started downloading, click on download again and change the format from Collada to FBX for Unity and click on download once again. Now, these uh, may take uh, a little longer than I would like to download and I do kind of want to speed this tutorial up a bit, but we'll see just how fast they uh, do download. <clears throat> Once those two uh, are going nice and well, let's now search for another animation. Let's have an idle animation. And let's just go with this idle animation right here. That looks okay. You'll notice there's no in place option here. That's because the animation itself is all in place anyway, so it doesn't matter. Next, click on download. 
keep it as FBX for Unity, but change it to without skin because we only need the animation associated with this model at this point. We don't need the model itself. Then click download. And you would do the same for any other animations you want. So let's say firing. And um, let's choose this one. So it looks like he's firing a pistol. That's all good. So then you would click download. FBX for Unity without skin. Click download. And every animation after that, you would just do that same process. So how do we get all of these into Unity? Well, I have already gone ahead and I have um, an actual folder here for it. Need to make sure that we open that zip file, which was the Collada file, only take the textures folder. So that textures folder comes into its own folder. Make sure you do unzip all of these. So the textures folder is required. You can then get rid of that zipped folder. And then you drag and drop these extra bits into that same folder. So I have a folder that contains that textures folder from the Collada file and those three animations. Next, what we would do is head back into Unity and let's create another folder here. So right click, create folder, enemies. And in here, let's drag and drop the soldier. There we go. And it's just bringing him in now. There's things you can do with the soldier to make him cool and more unique, I guess. But the main purpose of all of this is just to kind of bring him in. You may get this error asking you to fix the normal maps. Just click fix now. Okay, all good. So now we can go to our soldier and you'll see him right there. We just need to bring him into our scene and see how he looks. So drag and drop. He's a little bit small, so let's increase his size. 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. And we can just see him there. So let's press play and see how it looks. He is quite large, although we can see him fairly well in our scene. So he does look like he needs to be reduced in size. So we can select him here. And do you know what? I might actually rename him right now to Soldier Enemy. And let's decrease him to 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. And let's see how he looks. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, I, I, it all comes down to you, really, of how you want it to look. So let's go a little bit further into how he looks, and let's see if we can change it a little bit. So if we click here, we can see how he's set up, and he has these um, actual materials attached to him, as we can see. And I think, really, it's up to you how you, know, you want to visually create this particular um, asset. I mean, as I always say, you, you've really got to kind of customize a lot of things here. So for example, let's take this particular material, hold control, press D, and let's bring it straight onto the character himself. Now it has changed a little bit. And again, it's, it's up to you how you want it to look. It looks kind of I actually kind of like how that looks. So let's play around with that material now and see what we can do. Let's select the normal map and let's click create from grayscale and see how that looks on him. It looks like a zombie now. Not, not too happy with that. So let's turn the grayscale off and let's play around with the material. So let's make it an albedo alpha. Let's increase the metallic look and decrease the smoothness to about there. Um, let's set the normal map as 0 0.5. And I think that might just do it. He kind of looks cool. Let's bring him over here. So make sure we have the enemy selected. Bring him here. And let's press play and have a look at him in a bit more light. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
So, he's going to be the guy that shoots at us. He's going to really tear us a new one, I think. Um, so, let's actually bring in some ambience to our game um, before we end this tutorial. I mean, I'll explain a little bit more about it in just a moment, but let's get some audio into this. So, in our audio folder, let's right-click, create, a folder, and we'll just call this BGM. And in there, I'm going to drag and drop that wind sound that you saw previously. Now, this is quite a loud uh, file. So what we're going to do is kind of dumb it down a little bit so it's not quite as loud. So in our audio section on the first person controller and character, let's right click and create empty. And we'll call this BGM. And inside of there, let's right click, create empty. And we'll call this one... Uh, wind sound and I'm going to drag and drop onto there I'm going to make sure loop is ticked and I'm going to decrease the volume quite a lot so I'm going to have 0.02 and just see how that sounds cool I think that's okay so there's our enemy all ready for us to do stuff with. So yeah, it's as simple as that to add some uh, background ambience or music to your game. You don't have to use the same one I do, as I always say. But if you head to the website, download an asset, you can get it there. So, with enemies, uh, for example, if you don't want to use this guy, you want to go with zombies or something of that effect, you'll be able to find zombies and all kinds of different characters here that you can use. So we've got this guy here, this zombie. Again, not sure whether he'd be using a gun or not, but the same principle applies. You're able to use that same animation set on him. If you want to use this guy right here, you absolutely can. So what I would recommend um, before we go into the next tutorial, you find the right enemy for you, or multiple enemies if you want to, and we're going to control their animations and what they do. So for example, we imported some animations for our enemy right here. We're going to use them and see what he can do and what he looks like in our scene when he plays his animations. So until the next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.